Hi, Dr. Alex here, and welcome to a little video that is outside of my normal comfort zone of producing YouTube videos on Doctor Who and Doctor related stuff, and just a brief foray into upgrading bits of laptops, which is something I've had to do not entirely unconnected with the production of videos, but yes, this is all about the laptops. So for many years I've been using Lenovo ThinkPads in the X200 range, but recently it was getting to the point where they were too underpowered and I couldn't upgrade them because basically their CPUs are soldered onto the motherboard. So I began migrating over to the Lenovo ThinkPad T400 range. Initially to a T410, which is my main laptop for a while, uh, I then upgraded its CPU from an i5 M520 to an i7 620M which is my first experience of upgrading CPUs. But along the way, although I was concentrating on getting the T400 range for upgrades, this ThinkPad Edge E15 came up on eBay and I got it for 45 quid. And I thought, why not? Let's try it out. Now, it turns out that this is a pretty crappy laptop for ways I will describe shortly. But the one thing I have managed to do is upgrade its CPU in a way with a far greater jump in power than any other CPU upgrade I've done. Not that I've done that many. So I upgraded this laptop from an i3-330M all the way up to an i7-620M, which I had lying around for reasons I'll go into in a moment. And although the laptop is still in many ways quite crappy, it is now a way more powerful and much more usable laptop than it was to begin with. So let's get into it. So here is the still not brilliant ThinkPad Edge E15, which came with initially an i3 processor. Now, my main objection to this laptop is its build quality. It is really flimsy internally. It's got lots of flex in the case, particularly around the keyboard. And when it arrived, the original keyboard it came with looked like this, which I don't think you can see, really see the full horror of it, but apart from the fact that many of the keys have fallen off and are still in the process of falling off, it looks like somebody had spilt like half a ton of tea or coffee inside the keyboard. And um, so the whole keyboard wasn't functioning. The laptop could barely boot up because it was coming up with a key stuck down error all the time, uh, which I think is predominantly due to the problems with this keyboard, if not just the stuff that was spilt on it, but perhaps also the fact that it flexes an awful lot, way more than the keyboards on the T410, uh, sorry, the, the T430S, which I'm using now as my main driver to that laptop. And it's essentially a way worse keyboard than the T410, which is now the media server in the other room. Anyway, it was fairly easy to get a replacement keyboard for it. It was about £14, including the postage of eBay. That's one four pounds So nothing for a new keyboard. And the keyboard, still the same keyboard type it had before. I don't like these keys as well as the T410's keyboard, which, by the way, is one of the downsides of the superior processing power of the T430S is that it also has a slightly less good keyboard. Ooh, I just flicked the thingy off the summary by accident. There we go. Um, has a less good keyboard than the T410. The T410's keyboard is a uh, nicer layout, has slightly more travel in the keys. It's just a nicer keyboard to type on than the T430S's keyboards. Not that they're terrible, but I might upgrade these keyboards to the T410's keyboards because apparently they have exactly the same shape and profile and connector. So that's that's for another day. I will possibly upgrade the T430's keyboards by moving them over to T410 keyboards. And uh, that might be quite good because uh, I do like the T410's keyboard. In fact, I like the T410 as a laptop generally, uh, even though it's been downgraded or demoted to being my media server. The keyboard is better. The accessibility inside is better. You can actually change the CPU, which is what I did with it, which is how I ended up with an i7 knocking around spare. Um, whereas these, you cannot upgrade the CPU. They're soldered onto the motherboard, which is one of the reasons I ditched the X200 range in the first place, because they also have their CPUs soldered to the motherboard. Unlike this E5, or sorry, unlike this E15 ThinkPad Edge, where it may have many flaws, crappy build quality and floppy case among them. One advantage it does have is that you can get into the innards easily and you can replace the CPU. So 
how did I end up with an i7-620M to upgrade it with, given I used that to upgrade the T410? Well, the T410, when upgraded to the i7-620M, couldn't cope with the heat that it was putting out, as well as the i5-520M it had originally. So in the end, although I could run the i7 and do heavy-duty stuff like video processing with an external fan slapped on the side of it, in the end, I downgraded it back to the i5 M520, which fixed all of the overheating problems of the T410. Still a really good laptop. And as I say, nice keyboard, lots of space inside to work on it, and you can upgrade the CPU easily. So I had this spare CPU knocking around because I'd done one upgrade, downgraded, and had the upgrade back available. So I decided to give it a chance on upgrading this laptop, which was barely usable when it arrived. It is now more than usable, and although it'll still always be a spare laptop, it's a useful spare laptop that I could use for setting off video processing, for example, when I don't want to clog up my media server or my main laptop with such processing. Let's turn it on. So, uh, its hard drive is pretty awful as well, so I've replaced the hard drive with a 250 gigabyte solid state drive. And I put a very lightweight version of, of Ubuntu on it. In fact, you just saw there, the it's Bodhi Linux version 2.4.1. And as you can see, it's booted up incredibly fast because it's got this lightweight build of Linux on it and it's got a 250 gigabyte solid state drive and it now has an i7 running as its processor as opposed to the i3 originally had. So it is lightning fast now. Let me just, in case people were doubting that I had upgraded the CPU. Let me see if I can... Uh, where's my applications? There we are. System tools. System profile and benchmarker. <laughs> and let's bring up the summary on this one. So there you go. It's so fast. So um, <laughs> there you can see that it's running the um, i7 M620 perfectly happily uh, in the same slot that the i3, here's the i3 by the way that I tore out, um, still sitting here and there's the, there's the original i7 box that I put in. So there's the i3, still could be used if you wanted to in something. Um, but there it is, running an i7 very happily. There's the new T430S, is one of two I have. This one is now my main daily driver laptop, which came with uh, an i5 33 M processor, which is actually faster than the i7 that's in there, and faster than the um, i5 M520 that's in the T410. So although I've said that one of the bad things about these laptops is that it can't have its processor upgraded, they are almost the fastest laptops in this entire flat. So The likelihood of me needing to upgrade their processors is minimal, so I'm not too worried about the fact that I can't do it with the T430Ss. That said, if I ever bought another T400 series laptop, I would probably go for a T420, which has the same chunky profile and keyboard as the T410, but it can take more memory for a start. Um, it can take 16 gigabytes as opposed to 8 gigabytes, which is what the T410 is running with. And it still has the nice keyboard, which the T410 has, but the T430s don't have quite as nice keyboards. They have good keyboards, but not quite as nice. By the way, they have an almost identical keyboard to the Edge, which is the one I up actually upgraded from the i3 to the i7. Um, and although it's got a now a brand new keyboard, it's still the slightly less pleasant to feel and type with keyboards in a very similar style to the T430S's keyboards. I think I've talked about almost everything except... Oh yes, this has got 4 gig running on at the moment, but I'm just waiting for a RAM upgrade for the T430S to take it from 8 to 16 gigabytes. So when that arrives, I'm going to stick the 8 gigabytes into the E15. By the way, other reasons why this laptop's a bit crappy. Despite having a 15 inch screen, I think it's 15.6 actually inch screen, its resolution is only 1366 by 768, which is pretty low res for such a large monitor. Uh, the T430S, by the way, its resolution is, as you can probably see, 1600 by 900, so way better resolution on its 14.4 inch screen. 
Even the T410 has a better resolution uh, than the E15, running uh, 1440 by 900 resolution. So they both the 400 series laptops have way better screens than this thing does. But if I'm just using it for the odd task of processing audio and video, it's fine. It'll work very well. And it, as you can see, it's a quick little laptop now. One final comment on the thing that tricked me into buying this 15.6 inch laptop was that just over a year ago, as a Christmas present, I bought my friend a 15 inch Lenovo Edge laptop. Now it looks like that not all Lenovo Edge 15.6 inch screen laptops are as bad as this one. So these early ones, like the one I've got in front of me right now, are pretty poor in build quality, the level of the hardware inside, the processors, for example, and the hard drives. But the one that I bought for her was, in fact, a E540, which has the i5-4200M processor, which is actually faster than all of the other laptops in the flat, faster than the i7 that's running in this one, the M620. It's faster than the uh, it's faster than the T430S's with their i5-3320M's, which, by the way, are pretty quick little processors, quicker, in fact, than the i7 that I've dumped in there. In fact, these laptops, the T430's, can run Arcage um, reasonably comfortably, which um, I'm not sure how many people are familiar with the game, and it's not something I use very often, but I did set up one of the laptops with Windows so it could run Arcage and also act as a virtual instrument VST machine and it does an excellent job of that so this little laptop the 430s is sufficiently powerful to run games on and do them reasonably well but anyway as I was saying my friend's Christmas present of the E540 Edge with its a far better quality 15.6 inch screen which, as I'm flashing up now, you can see has got a far higher resolution than even my T400 range laptops have got. That is a good Lenovo 15-inch laptop. So they do exist. It's just the one that I happened to buy for 45 quid was terrible. But now is at least pretty quick and usable. So anyway, I think I've said just about as much as I can possibly say about this um, surprisingly large leap in upgrades for this rather poor but usable ThinkPad Edge E15 laptop. And I will just leave you with a glorious shot of it sitting there with a brand new keyboard, brand new solid state drive, brand new processor way above what it had before, i3 to i7, and soon to receive even more memory than it had before as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I found it at least partially useful and informative, and I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Until then, take care.